Hello everybody, Dan here. Welcome back to Daily Soap Dish. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button down below because we cover a ton of 90 Day Fiance right here on the channel. Let's get right into it, guys. So today's story is about Miona Bell and Jabri Bell. Now, we have spoken quite a bit about these two recently because, as you guys know, these two called it quits a couple of months ago. Now, just very recently, Miona Bell went Instagram official with her new beau, her new man, and we know that his name is Terzel Ron. So she posted a picture basically confirming what all the rumors have been for a couple of months now because she is in the picture with him. They are hugging and they even have a little doggy in the picture. So it's like a full on family portrait. And uh, that's about as official as you can get in the realm of 90 Day Fiance. Now, a little bit about Jabri and Miona. So they broke up in the fall of 2023 after about Miona being in the USA or at least after marriage to uh to uh, Jabri for about 2 years. So they broke up and Jabri then went on a spiritual kind of awakening or finding or refinding himself journey throughout Southeast Asia. He went to Bali, he went to other parts in Indonesia, he went to Thailand. He went to Malaysia as well. I'm not sure if he went anywhere else, but he was there from, I'm not sure, maybe September, August, something like that. He was there for a couple of months and, you know, he toured all of those countries uh, during those months. Now, that's when we first got a wind of this breakup with Miona because we started thinking, what is going on with Jabri and Miona? Why is Miona not with Jabri on this trip throughout Southeast Asia that is you know, a few months long, something is not right. And then Miona started posting these cryptic posts, you know, with Terzel, as we have learned now, where we saw a hand at first, and then we might have seen other body parts. Uh, I forget, but she slowly introduced Terzel, uh, and this was a couple of months ago. So we knew that this couple was done. And about a month or so ago, Jabri himself went on Instagram and confirmed all the rumors that they were done and basically took full responsibility for the relationship failing, which I'm not sure that it's actually accurate because Jabri, he kind of has a weird way of expressing himself. He's over the top and he is always all in on what he does and his feelings. And so I don't know that I fully buy his explanation, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So let's go through this piece here and then we'll take a look at the picture and we'll take a look at what Jabri is doing. And I'll tell you guys a little bit of what I think about this whole thing. So Miona goes Instagram official with her new man one month after confirming the Jabri Bell split. So Miona Bell went IG official with new boyfriend Terzel Ron following her split from her estranged husband Jabri Bell. Miona25 simply captioned a photo via Instagram of her and Terzel and they are holding a dog together. Shortly after she shared the snapshot, a bunch of people on her Instagram page took to the comment section to gush about this new couple. And this person said, okay, I'm sorry, but that's quite an upgrade. One person commented. Now, another added lucky man having such an independent, hardworking, smoking hot woman. I hope you found a real man. A third person chimed in. Now, I have to say that when I look at Miona's account and I have, you know, guys, we have talked about this couple for a while. Miona and Jabri. Ever since we first saw them on 90 Day Fiance, we knew that they were up to shady stuff. Number one, we knew because we saw some articles from years before they ever came on 90 Day Fiance that Jabri, you know, he called Miona Bell his wife in an interview in a Serbian newspaper, I think back in 2020, about two years before they came on the show. So we knew that maybe this couple, maybe they were already married and they were just doing 90 Day Fiance for show. Now, when they came on the show, there was a lot of shadiness, a lot of weird stuff that we saw. We saw Jabri Bell, you know, he ripped his pants in one episode, and then he allegedly sold that to somebody in Las Vegas who paid something like $27,000 for them. Uh, and he also sold an NFT of that, which was complete bogus, guys. Nobody would pay that much. That was a complete and total PR stunt. And so this couple has been doing this mantra of fake it till you make it because that's what I think Jabri Bell's idea was of doing the show 
if we convey that we are super successful and smart and savvy and we know how this whole thing online works, then people will buy it and it will make us into superstars. And I think that Jabri wanted to turn Miona into a Kim Kardashian 2.0 because you guys remember, you know, Miona Bell had some black fishing allegations as well. So we've been on this couple. We've been on their case since the get go. They've been doing a lot of phony fake stuff on social media. And so when I see those comments, uh, you know, people saying, well, you know, at least uh, you found a real man or something like that. Sometimes I feel like those are bots that Miona bought to kind of make herself feel good because Miona, she often deletes comments that are critical of uh, what she does because she kind of has very thin skin and I've seen it in the comment section. She absolutely does not like criticism. Uh, but also I will say that for all of his faults and you know, like I said, we have trashed Debris Bell on this channel a lot before, but for all of his faults, I will say one thing about him. I really think that he actually really and truly loved Miona Bell. And I'm not sure if Miona Bell's love for Jabri Bell, I don't know if that was reciprocated. Like when I watched the show, and you guys will tell me what you think about this, but when we watched the show, let's forget about all the phoniness, the fake fights between Jabri and his friend David. Like all of that was complete nonsense, totally rehearsed bullcrap in my opinion. And it honestly degraded the quality of the show. But let's ignore all of that. If we just look at his behavior towards Miona, you could just see it in his eyes that he, in my opinion, he really loved her. And I'm not sure that that was ever reciprocated from Miona towards Jabri. I never felt that warmth. I never saw those emotions. We, of course, don't know what they're like behind closed doors when the cameras aren't rolling. But we never really got any kind of feel for Miona's affection towards Jabri, whereas we saw Jabri do all kinds of things. Like he moved to LA for Miona, even though he said, you know, I should probably stay with my parents here in South Dakota because, you know, I don't know if we're financially ready and so on and so forth. He sacrificed quite a bit for her, but in the end, he took responsibility for everything. We'll get back to that in a second. Let's take a look at what else it says here. Miona made her and Terzel's relationship official. Just um, one month after Jabri confirmed their split after less than three years of marriage in an Instagram post. And in that post, he said, love is a gamble and heartbreak is beautiful. He captioned a video of a rap performance that he did. We covered that a couple of weeks ago. If you guys didn't see it, you can go check it out. I'm 30 years old and this is my third true breakup or heartbreak. And this one hurts just as much as the last two. And all three of them were with Serbian woman. So maybe... Jabri, you need to get the memo. Maybe Serbian woman and you, they just doesn't work out. So I, I think he did, though. I think he, he said that he's looking for a different kind of woman this time around. Jabri then said it wasn't Miona's fault that they called it quits. And he also said that he took full responsibility for the end of their marriage. Something about being in a long-term commitment makes me feel uneasy and trapped. Maybe I'm immature or maybe I just haven't found the one. He continued, anyways, I want to always be transparent and honest with y'all and show my true colors. I'm far from perfect and I'm working on becoming a better man every day. The former couple made their franchise debut during season nine of 90 Day Fiance in June of 2022. At that moment, Jabri was living with his parents in South Dakota while Miona made it clear she wanted nothing to do with that life because she was all about the glitz and glamour of LA. And this is why I say guys that, you know, I feel like Jabri loved her more because Jabri was willing to sacrifice a lot. I, like I said, I, I, I hate to say positive things about Jabri because I know I'm going to get comments below. Oh my God, you're saying positive stuff about Jabri. Stop it. He is a nasty, disgusting individual and all that. And like I said, guys, I get all of that. I'm just trying to be neutral. I'm trying to be fair to Jabri and I'm trying to judge it as I saw it, and I did see the affection of Jabri towards Miona, and like I said, he did sacrifice his life in South Dakota to move to LA with Miona, and um, you know, it didn't work out in the end, so a pretty big sacrifice. I'm not sure that was really appreciated by Miona. Now, the former couple made their franchise debut. Okay, we, we saw that despite facing several hardships during their romance, Miona and Jabri tied the knot in November 2021, and they settled down in California. Now, just days after Jabri confirmed the split, 
The Serbian native revealed there was a new man in her life. My man got me these pretty flowers. She captioned a photo of pink and purple flowers via Instagram. Now, let's take a look at this man. Uh, and this is the picture, guys, uh, right here. So this is uh, Terzel Ron right here. So um, Miona and Terzel right here, guys. So you guys let me know what you think about this. Um, you know, people are saying in the comments this is an upgrade over, over Jabri. You know, you guys let me know what you think. I mean, hard to say because we don't know what he's like behind the scenes. And I, I don't really like judging a book by its cover. It never really works out. Like, we have no idea about this Tarzan, Ron. And we don't know. We can't compare him to Jabri Bell. I mean, the, the one thing we do know about him is that he is, uh, I believe, or was, some kind of producer on some kind of Oprah show that she did. I think it was a podcast that Oprah did not that long ago, and he was some kind of producer on that, I believe. If I'm mistaken, I'm sure you guys will let me know, but that's the last I remember reading about Terzel. And so he has a little bit of showbiz experience, and I'm guessing that what Miona sees in this guy, as opposed to Jabri, is that he can you know, bring his experience and bring it towards her Miona Beauty business. Now, the Miona Beauty business, guys, uh, you know, that's another story altogether. And, of course, we know that Miona, what she's doing is she's just buying cheap Alibaba Chinese goods. And she is just repackaging that with her logo and basically selling it to people at probably two, three times the cost, if not more. And basically saying that she has a real brand, which is not the case. And she is likely misleading her customers. But that's what she's doing. That's how she sees, uh, you know, her success being is uh, through misleading people. And somehow she thinks that Thurzel Ron is likely going to help her, I, I guess, with that. Or maybe other showbiz opportunities. But this is the thing, guys. When we saw Miona and Jabri, Jabri Bell carried like 90% of the storyline. Miona Bell always looked uncomfortable. She always looked grumpy. She just looked even constipated at times. She looked like she did not want to be on TV at all. She had no interest in doing this show. Almost like she was too good to grace us with her presence on TV and then have to try and she would become a superstar. That's how I took it. Whereas Jabri Bell, for all we can say about him, and a lot of it is negative, like I said. But compared to Miona, he was willing to put in the work on the show to at least try to make it entertaining. His version of it, uh, I don't think that it hit the mark because we saw his fake fights with David. We saw him rip his pants and pretend like he's selling it for a big, large sum of money. All of that was fake and complete nonsense and bullcrap that we saw. And the show was worse off for ever having these two on it. But at least Jabri was trying, I guess, is the best thing that we can say about him. Miona was just there. She was like a barely warm body that we never really got to know very well because she was very closed up and not open. She was not really entertaining in any way. She was not really interesting in any way. She was one of the most dull characters that we have ever seen on the show. And we're actually elevating her a lot by even just doing this video on her because her performance on the show was terrible. It was just not very entertaining. However, maybe 90 Day Fiance is thinking of bringing these two back. And of course, Terzel has some kind of showbiz background. I'm not exactly sure how serious it is, but maybe the, these two could be a feature on a, on, on a future 90 Day Fiance. And you guys will let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. Would you guys like to see that? Let me know in the comment section what you think about all of that now if we look at uh jabri bell's instagram so right now he's in canada so he was at white rock here and um you know this is kind of what he does now he says he's in a place and he asks people oh what what can we do he's trying to build engagement and so he's uh i guess traveling right now and um he posted this just um maybe two days ago one day ago let's take a listen because you're complacent you have to keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, walking, running, dancing, swimming, hiking, biking, playing basketball, football, baseball, doesn't matter, just keep moving. Fitness is fundamental. You guys want to hit 10,000 steps per day, 
If you can't hit that, then hit 5,000. If you can't hit that, then start off with 2,500. Just keep moving. Fitness is fundamental because the more you move, the more time you have. And time is a funny concept because time flies. But guess what? You're the pilot. So you get to alter the course. You get to change direction. And you don't owe anyone an explanation. You guys can do this. Focus on yourself, focus on your fitness. If you felt this message, drop some lightning bolts in the comments below. I'm gonna send you guys the love right back. Peace. So that, that's what he's doing now. He's doing a lot of these um, motivational, I guess we can call them, videos. I, I think his dream is to be a motivational speaker. The issue that I have with Jabri, and I think the message is fine. Some people take offense to the message because sometimes, you know, he says some things without really thinking it out. And he got into an argument with Tanya because he told people that they need to eat better in America. And Tanya took offense to that saying, well, you know, America isn't like other countries. Our foods are different and so on and so forth. I think sometimes he doesn't think things out fully. And maybe some people take his message the wrong way. I don't think that this message comes from a bad place per se. Uh, I think there's nothing wrong with what he's saying uh, to me anyways. Maybe you guys feel differently. But I just think that Jabri himself rubs people the wrong way. So no matter what he says, people are going to interpret it a certain way because they just don't really like Jabri. But I think that this is what he's trying to do. He's trying to become like an Anthony Robbins kind of inspirational figure. He's trying to use this platform in that way. The problem, though, is that we have all seen that Jabri hasn't really had things under control. If you want to be an inspirational talker, motivator, um, you know, speech giver, you have to look, or at least appear, that you have everything under control, that you're super successful uh, in life, and that uh, your emotions, you have everything under control. Jabri oftentimes hasn't had things under control. We've seen it on the show. We've seen it on social media. And so we... Uh, you know, we have seen him not have things under control. So perhaps he's not fully ready for th this thing that he's trying to do. But anyways, you guys will let me know what you think about all that in the comment section down below. Uh, let me know what you think about Miona and her new man, Durzal Ron. Would you guys like to see this relationship grace our screen? Would you guys like to see Miona grace us once again with her TV presence? Because maybe you guys like her. Maybe it's just me. But I thought that she was as flat as a doorknob last time she was on. And I think she would be terrible to bring back. But maybe it could work. You guys let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. Would you guys like to see Jabri come back on the show? Let me know in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this update about Jabri and Miona and now Terzel Ron as well. Give the video a big thumbs up if you did. Hit that subscribe button down below for more content right here on the channel. And I will see you guys very soon. Take care.